Howdy folks, welcome into my studio. It's a rainy Saturday afternoon and I thought I'd do a little video on how I make these videos. So I'm going to invite you into my studio, show you some of the tools I use and some of the process that I go through to make these videos. So um, this is my tiny office. I mean, it's tiny. It's about 8 by 12. And that's where most of the work takes place. And let me show you some of the, uh, show you around the studio a little bit. So you can see instruments, computers, cables, a uh, picture of Lorraine, a bunch of pictures of musicians on the walls. Everything I need right in here. So a spare set of headphones. Uh, this is my mixer that's so important to getting the sound right and sending it into the computer. This is a signal process that I use for entering a lot of my signals into the computer. And this is my teaching Zoom space also. So I've got some books, references. Okay, so the first step in the process is once I've decided on a song or a tune is to figure out an arrangement. And so I use Sibelius. It's the program that I have for entering uh, music. And this is a little video screen capture of me entering the notes for Hut on Staffen Island, a recent tour destination. And so as you can see, it's a little tedious. I'm entering uh, notes one note at a time, although you can copy and paste like you can in other kinds of programs to do this. And I'm entering three separate violin lines or two violins and a viola maybe you would say to make up the arrangement for this beginning of the hut on staff and, and then Sibelius will play back those parts as you've written them out uh, and it's actually got a pretty good fiddle sound so this is what it sounds like so Sibelius will print out or give me a pdf file of the individual parts, and then I have to practice those parts before I can actually record them. This is viola, I don't know why it goes so high. But... Now, recording in such a small space can have its own obstacles, as you will see. No bases were harmed in the filming of this. So now we do the actual recording, and we record one part at a time, and we use a click track or a metronome to uh, align everything so that we stay together. So in this video here, the screen capture from the program Audacity, which I used to record into, I'm going to show you what it's like as a record. Well, first one part, and then the sec we'll add the second one, and add the third part in. And you can hear this is the same passage we've been looking at the whole time, so you get an idea of what this is actually going to end up sounding like. There are two lines for each track. All right, so once you've got the, all the audio tracks recorded, then you mix them together, set them all at the right levels. And sometimes it'll add a little reverb or something, little effects to it. And then I've got a complete audio track. So that's all ready to go. But now that means it's time to shoot the video. And I have to admit, this is my least favorite part. So you have to find a location. You have to set up lights. You have to figure out your costumes and then set up a camera. And then I'm going to play that high quality audio recording back while I shoot the video. So the audio appears on the video track also. And that's the way to sync the, vi the video with the audio. Thanks to my Patreon supporters, I was able to purchase some better lights. I was very unhappy with my lighting for a long time. But I got these lights and they're much better. Here's some lighting experiments. All right, this is what it looks like from the set looking out. About to do some video syncing. So this is uh, here's my lights. See them? They're pretty bright, just burning into the thing. Here I've got the music because this one has a specific arrangement. 
we need to follow. So I really need the music because I've forgotten what I did. And then I've got a little speaker set up, and that's going to be playing the music as I'm playing along because we're just doing video here. I don't know if you can see that. There's my fiddle there. There's cash on the table, baby. All right, here are a couple views of the set. And then we've got a video of one of the fiddle parts. And so this is the recording of the video. And in a second, you'll hear me count off on the audio track to start the, um, start the recording. And I'll try to play along with the audio recording. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now it's time to put all the video and audio together. I use a program called Movavi to do that. And, and putting video together is similar to putting audio together. You have several different tracks and you have to go between them and uh, adjust the levels and so on. So, so adjusting to video editing what is, wasn't too hard for me because I've got a lot of experience with audio editing. So we've got a screen capture here and it shows the editing in that program. So at the bottom, you'll see the green uh, audio track, and then you'll see various video and still tracks above that. And up in the upper right, you can see the product of the video as it's happening. Although usually I split that off onto a separate screen so I can see it full size. And we'll speed it up and uh, get you through to the end quick. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> So all the Tom Cunninghams want to thank all of my Patreon supporters. You've been a huge help in helping me uh, continue my creative endeavors. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at how I make my art and hope you continue to enjoy my art for a long time. I plan to continue doing this. I'm really having fun doing it and I'm glad that folks are enjoying it. Thank you very much.